Hello, class six students. This is your science teacher, Ben, here. And we are studying about us, right? Everything around us, uh, living things around humans, animals, plants, right? So yesterday, we have completed the characteristic of living organisms. And today, we'll start with the habitat, OK? So today, our topic will be habitat. And what is a habitat? It is a place where living uh, organisms live. It is, it is a place where we live, clear? But this habitat, I'm sure now you know the difference between living and non-living things, clear? So living things like uh, animals, plants, humans, clear? In a habitat, in a habitat uh, constitute its biotic, okay, component. And then uh, non-living things like air, water, rocks, clear? In a habitat are its abiotic, okay? Biotic for living, abiotic for non-living, clear? So now this habitat is the place where we live, the place where living organisms live, clear? So now this habitat also, we have to divide it into two parts, clear? So the first one would be aquatic habitat. Aquatic habitat. This is a place where uh, living organisms for habitat, they live in a water. Clear, aquatic means water. Now, uh, the second one is terrestrial habitat. Terrestrial habitat. So aquatic means water, terrestrial means land. So we humans, we fall in this category, right? But let's say fish, let's say uh, dolphins, whale, sharks, they fall in this aquatic uh, habitat, they fall in this category, right? But we are under this category, clear? So today, we'll study everything, all the different types of aquatic habitats and all the different types of terrestrial habitat, one by one, clear? So in aquatic habitat, aquatic, I'm repeating, it's water, clear, water. First, let's study about marine habitat, okay? Marine, marine habitat, M-A-R-I-N-E. This marine means those, we have, okay, seas, oceans, are example of marine uh, habitat, okay? And this marine uh, habitat is also known as uh, saline, okay? Because it is, the water there is salty, clear? So it is salty, clear? Now, what types of like animals, uh, aquatic animals will find here? We'll find whale, shark, clear? all will find in this marine habitat, clear? So I'm sure you are clear with this marine habitat. It is to do with uh, seas, oceans, and then like the water here is salty, clear? And then uh, the types of animals that we'll find here are whale, shark, and some types of fishes, clear? Now the next one, the next one will be uh, fresh water, clear? Fresh water. Fresh water. So this is the second type of aquatic habitat, okay? Fresh water. So now fresh water, example will be ponds, lakes, river, clear? Here we will find fish, the most common one. This, this fresh water is most common one, clear? Now the third one, the third one would be coastal, okay? The third one will be coastal. C O, I'll spell that for you, C O A S T A L, coastal habitat. Coastal habitat means where uh, the water meets the land, okay? Where water meets the land. Example like beaches, clear? In beach you have seen, right? The water meets the land. So um, here the aquatic uh, animals, organisms that we'll find here are crab, oysters, etc. and many, clear? So now, here in this coastal, the 
example, we can also give estuaries. Estuaries are where the fresh water meets the marine. Clear? So these are the three categories under the aquatic habitat. These are all water, but we have different division. Clear? So please make a note here. You have to note down all this. Marine, fresh water, and coastal will come under aquatic habitat. Okay? Now we are going to talk about the terrestrial habitat. Terrestrial means land. Okay? This is where well, we, we humans will also fall under this category. Clear? Terrestrial habitat. Now, the first one under the terrestrial habitat we'll study is desert. Okay? Desert. Desert. D E S S E R T. Desert. Okay, so here, desert means no rainfall, or let's say less rainfall. And here, it will be very hot, very, very hot. And animals would, uh, we can find here are like camels, clear? We have seen movies, right? And then uh, plants like cactus we can find here in desert, clear? Now, the second type of terrestrial habitat uh, would be Grassland, okay? Grassland habitat. Here, there will be no water, less water, okay? Less, very less water. And here, you are the animals that we can find here are giraffe, uh, zebra, clear? And many. And the third type of terrestrial habitat would be tundra, okay? T-U-N-D-R-A, tundra or Polar. Now, this would be very cold. Very, uh, there will be a snowfall here in tundra and polar. That's why you have, you know, you are familiar with polar bear, right? Polar bear. In movies, you have seen. So here, uh, polar bear animals will find in this type of region, in this type of habitat. Okay, tundra, where the, it's very cold and where there is a snowfall. So you can write polar bear. And have you seen, like, are you familiar with penguin? Even penguin can survive in this type of uh, habitat, that is tundra. Clear? So I'll write here, example, penguin. These are some examples which can survive in this place. Clear? So now we are done with three types of habitat under the terrestrial, but we still have. Uh, we still have this uh, mountain habitat, okay, mountain. Mountain, here, it will be very freezy, okay? I'll write, I'll, I'll continue here. The fourth type of habitat, mountain. It will be cold, it will be freezy. Okay, it will be cold, it will be freezy. And then here you'll find animals like God, sheep, yak, clear? Okay. Now, the last one, the last one under the terrestrial habitat would be rainwater, okay? Rainwater forest type, okay? In this type, it will be very humid. It will be very hot and very humid. And the animals like tiger or your monkey, all you'll find in this place because here it's hot humid, okay? Hot and humid, you have to remember for this rainwater. So we are done with the aquatic habitats where uh, we have completed the aquatic habitat, terrestrial habitat. Under aquatic habitat, we have studied marine, freshwater, coastal, and under the terrestrial habitat, which is to do with the land, okay, land. So here you'll find desert, uh, you'll find grassland, tundra, mountain, and rainwater, clear? So next, we'll study adaptation, clear? Adaptation, and adaptation is very important. See, because now, uh, e example like camel, okay? Camel will find in a desert, in, a, in India, you'll find in Rajasthan, okay? Camel, camel, they have adapted in uh, hot places, or they have adapted in a, uh, in a region where there is less rainfall. Clear? So now, if you cannot imagine uh, a camel in Kohima, right? 
because kennel they have adapted in a dry desert uh, habitat. So human beings or animals or living organisms, they have this capability. They adapt, they adapt themselves and then they, uh, wherever they are located, okay, wherever they are located, they are, uh, they get attached to, to that place, clear? So we'll study all the difference one by one, clear? All the difference, so first we'll study about a desert place. So under a desert we'll, we'll categorize like this, we'll first study about the plants, how, how the plants adjust themselves, clear? Uh, cactus, let's say, how cactus adjusts itself in a desert. Uh, like under the animals, we'll study how camel uh, sustain his life in a desert, clear? Because you and I cannot survive like deer, right? So how these animals like camel and how plants like cactus, they adjust and how they are adapted in a desert place. So we'll study that, okay? Okay. Okay, so we'll study adaptation for desert, okay? Habitat. Now let's talk about plants. So let's categorize like this. First, plants and animals. Plants, we'll start with the most common one that we find in desert place. That is cactus, okay? Cactus. Have you, are you familiar with this cactus? So you can imagine, okay, cactus, because we'll study about cactus, how cactus adjust themselves, adapt themselves in this desert area, clear? So now cactus, in a plant like cactus, they'll have a long root, okay? So we'll just write the points here, long roots. Why long roots? Because in the desert, there is scarcity of water, right? So now these long roots, they have to penetrate deep down, clear, in search of water. So plants like cactus, they will have long roots, clear? Now let's study about their uh, stem, okay? Stem. Plants like cactus, they'll have a fleshy stem, clear? They'll have a fleshy stem and they have that capability to store water because they have to store water Clear? For survival. Now, this type where they store water in the leaf, this is also termed as seculent, okay? S-U-C-C-U-L-E-N-T, seculent. Because in the leaf, you have, uh, in, in, in the stem, they store water. Clear? Now, uh, they also have a waxy coated stem to protect themselves from the damage, okay? Now, under the stem, uh, there you will observe that cactus, they don't have a leaf, right? You won't find a leaf unlike other plants in a cactus. You'll just find like this. So now cactus, they don't have a leaf. Why? Because uh, instead of leaf, they have a modified pine. Clear? I'll write that here. Modified spine. Instead of leaf, they have modified spine. Why modified spine? Because if cactus have leaf, then like uh, it will consume lot of water. Clear? So they instead of leaf, they have modified spine. Okay. So these are some features like of the plants in a desert place. Clear? Now let's uh, study about the animals. How animals, like, uh, there, there are many animals, like um, mm, we have even some rats, we have even snakes in a uh, desert place, clear? So now first let's start, uh, talk, first we'll discuss about camel, how they survive, how they have adapted themselves in, in a desert area, clear? So let's study about camel, just examples, okay. Camel. So now, uh, have you seen this? Camel, they have a long leg, right? Why do they have long uh, leg? They have long leg to, uh, to protect them, okay? To protect them from the heat of the sand. Long leg is 
to protect themselves from the heat of the sand. Clear? If they have short leg, what will happen? Right. So there will be direct contact with the heat of the sand. So they have a long leg. Clear? They have long leg to protect themselves from the heat of the sand. Now, you'll also see, uh, see in camel, okay? In camel, they have a hump, okay? They have hump. Hump is where they store face in form of the food. Clear? And camel, once they drink water, okay, they drink, uh, they can drink a lot of water in one go. Clear? How many water you can, uh, glass of water you can drink in one go? Right? But unlike us humans, they can drink a lot of water in one go so that they can store. And in this way, without drinking water, they can survive for a long time. Clear? Okay, so these are some facts about the camel, how they have adapted, adjusted themselves in the desert. Now let's talk about some rats, some snakes. Uh, they are active at night, okay? Because during daytime, it's very hot. Some rats and snakes, they, they, are, they have adapted themselves very well in this desert area. But they are active only at night, because at night it's very cold, right? And during their time, what happened? During their time, you have to get familiar with this word, okay? B-U-R-R-O-W. So this is a type of a hole which they have made, okay? A type of a hole where during their time, they'll be inside this uh, a burrow, clear? So they are burrowing animals. So now, uh, because to protect themselves from the heat during their time. And at night time, they will come out and they'll be active. Clear? So these are some uh, qualities. These are some uh, features they have. Okay? So today we have uh, completed, we have discussed about uh, animals and their adaptation in a desert uh, habitat. Tomorrow we will St uh, start with the grassland habitat, or we'll start with um, aquatic habitat. Okay, aquatic habitat, that's going to be very interesting. How fish survive, how, you know, there are some plants that survive inside the water, right? Like water lily, tap grass. So we'll, tomorrow we'll study about their features, how they have adapted themselves inside the water, how fish breathe inside the water. So tomorrow is going to be a very interesting topic. Clear, but today we have clear, we are done with adaptation for desert habitat. You have to remember uh, examples like cactus, camel, some rats and snakes, clear. And uh, regarding cactus, regarding the plants, you have to remember how the root function, how the stem function, and also uh, animals, you have to remember what is this harm for? What is the uh, use of the long, what is the use of the long uh, leg in a camel? Clear? Okay, so note down the important points regarding this habitat. We will continue with uh, adaptation for aquatic habitat and grassland habitat in our next class. Thank you so much, students.